Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Naomi Susan Isaacs, International Charisma Consultant, Coach and Speaker and Founder of the Institute of Charismology. Today I want to talk about despondency and motivation. When you see me here on a video, you think I'm in a great mood and you see me as a successful person doing all the wonderful things that I do and so on and so forth. But I want to tell you how I woke up this morning. I woke up in a state of deep despondency and hopelessness. I felt there was no point in even getting out of bed today. Now, I can't explain why I felt like that, but that was how I felt. And I wonder how many of you can relate to this. The feeling of despondency, this feeling of oh, hopelessness. What is there to get up for? Nothing good is going to happen today. Well, my message for you is not a message of hopefulness. It's a message of get up and do it. Because nothing is going to happen today unless you make it happen or at the very least allow it to happen. So you have one of two choices if you wake up in that mood. You can choose to stay in bed and that's fine. That's absolutely cool if you're feeling, you know what, I've deserved a day of nothingness. Read a book, sleep a bit, get up, get a drink of water, tea, coffee, whatever, eat a bit, go back to bed, enjoy a day in bed. And if you feel that's what you need, that's wonderful. But if you're staying in bed just because you can't think of a reason to get up, well, that's not so great. That was the feeling I had. If I stay in bed, maybe the day will pass and it'll pass over me and I won't have had to do anything, but at least Sunday will be gone. Now, that's not good enough. Because once you start down that road, it only gets worse and worse. And I can tell you that from experience. Staying in bed more than one day is deadly, it's dangerous. It'll drag you down into a self-made depression. So what do I do about it? I don't know whether it will help you to do it like this, but what I do is I start by getting out of bed. Now this may seem very stupid, but it's a start. It's both feet on the ground, get up, stand up, go to the kitchen, drink some water, go to the bathroom, do whatever it is I need to do there, including brushing my teeth. Because once you've done your teeth, somehow the day seems fresher. And the most important thing is take all the bedding off my bed so I can't get back into it or make my bed. Now the way I sleep is on a beautiful sofa and so I clear the bedding off every day and it's a sofa. That doesn't sound like the bed of a rich person, does it? Well, I don't count my riches in money or financial wealth. I count my riches in opportunity, in happiness, in the opportunities I get to share myself with other people. And as a charismologist, as a charisma consultant, to me charisma is what can I share with other people? My charisma, my gift is the gift of sharing. But if I don't get out there, nobody can share it with me. I can't share it with anyone else. So I did what might appear to be quite lazy. I got dressed. I got dressed in a colour which makes me feel good. Pink makes me feel good. It might not be the colour that suits me best, I don't know, but it makes me feel good. And I went to my favourite cafe on the corner, just 100 yards from my home, 
and I took a book with me and I spoke to my angels again. But actually what I did was I decided to share myself with whoever came along. And who, who came along was a gentleman I've seen there many times. We've spoken a few times, but today he told me of an idea that he had for improving the ecological situation of our city. His difficulty was that he didn't have the self-confidence to go and tell anybody about it. But for some reason, I was there, he shared it with me, and together we made a plan for him to approach the people that might have a say in all this. These are some politicians, these are some people from the church, these are some people from the municipal uh, groups in the city, and I don't know whether he will do it. I would like to see him do it. I will encourage him to do it. But we had a wonderful conversation. We got to know each other better, and he went away with a feeling of hope that he, as a quote-unquote simple person, can actually make a change in this world. So I want to encourage you, if you're feeling despondent, and if you're feeling that you can't contribute anything, just go out into the world and see what happens to you. See who approaches you. Find out who's there that you can share yourself with and give them some encouragement. And you will find that your despondency is gone, your hopelessness is gone, and you may have uplifted somebody else and given them the courage to believe in themselves. That's what this life is about. Helping other people to grow. Charisma, the original meaning of the word, is the gift. The God-given gift. The divine gift. The gift that you didn't have to ask for or earn. It is yours. And gifts are to be shared. I think the essence of charisma is sharing. So go out and share yourself today. And when you come back, you will feel really good and you will know that whatever else happens today, this has been a good day. Enjoy it. Enjoy sharing yourself. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful life.